Hi, my name is Ms. Leone. Welcome back, and for all our new students, welcome to PSIS 119. This video will guide you through the programs and curriculum we will be using this school year. Although it is a remarkably different start, we intend on keeping the quality and rigor of previous years. This video will be available to you all school year long and please refer to this video as needed. Many videos will have a language option. Please share with your parents if this will help them help you. If a lesson has a recorded session, the video will be posted to YouTube. This allows you to watch the video on your phone, tablet, or computer. To change the settings, you would need to make sure the closed caption is turned on. Then click on the video settings icon and change the subtitles to your preferred language. Please note that the translation is completed using Google Translate and likely to have errors. The idea is to help students or parents who may not be fluent English speakers. If there is a language you would like to see as an option, message me on Jupyter Ed. This year, we will continue to use the standard grading policy. Only end of unit exams will be counted towards the marking period grade. This means that pre-test and mid-chapter test will not count towards the overall grade. It is still important to try your best on all types of exams as grouping and individualized instruction will be based on scores. There will be two types of quizzes, reading and vocabulary. Vocabulary quizzes will take place before the start of the unit. Reading quizzes will be given after each reading passage. Typically, student growth is measured using iReady. As there is no iReady for science, students will complete benchmark quizzes on Google. These benchmark questions are aligned to NGSS. We will review more on the NGSS later in this video. Portfolio work will include labs, writing pieces, and presentations. Each teacher will set their homework policy. As we may not be able to check homework each day, please note that time-sensitive homework assignments may be assigned on Google or Amplify so that instructors may grade more efficiently. There are many platforms that the students and parents will be using to best support online learning. JupyterEd has been and will continue to be the best way for students and parents to connect to teachers and supporting staff. Any of your teachers should be able to provide you with a username and password. Parents and students should have their own accounts and we ask that you do not share accounts. Jupyter Ed will be where you can see the most up-to-date information about the overall score and missed assignments. We ask that you check this website daily. If you are unfamiliar with the program, please look at the supporting document in this assignment. NGSS are the next generation science standards. This is a 3D approach to setting standards. Core ideas is what we typically think of as standards. It addresses the basic knowledge you will gain and facts you will obtain. Though it is important to know facts, it is not a practical skill. To address the demand to make you more prepared to enter the science fields, they have expanded the standards to include methods of how we conduct science, aka practices, and how it applies to other fields of knowledge, aka cross-cutting. This year we will continue using Amplify Science. This program is a phenomena-based curriculum. We will begin each unit with a problem. 
This allows for a more natural way of looking at science. Science is more than a list of facts, but rather a method we use to observe, quantify, and report information. You will gain information and collect data that will help you improve or solve the unit's dilemma. At the end of each unit, you will be able to apply your knowledge to a novel or different problem to explore how facts can expand across multiple issues. Before each lesson, you will need to log into Amplify. Each of you have a Clever account. You may directly log into Clever using clever.com, or you can access through the, the student portal. Once on Clever, you will need to click on the orange Amplify icon. Your username for Clever should be your student ID. You will be given more information about logging into Amplify and Clever during your upcoming classes. At this time, you should be familiar with Google Classroom. However, there is a slight change with usernames. We will be sending you information about logging into your new NYC DOE email addresses. This will allow you to access both Google Drive and Google Classroom. If you are attending an in-person lesson, you will complete the warm-up in school. If you are remote learning a particular lesson, we ask that you complete the warm-up prior to the start of class. We will st spend the first five minutes or so discussing the warm-up and preparing for the lesson. On most days, both live and remote classes will complete the same lesson. Each lesson has two to five activities in which you will collect data or information that will help you solve the unit problem. Most lessons will have a link to a pre-recorded video or a class recording after the class has ended. Please note that we are taking attendance for all live and in-person lessons, as well as online lessons. Missing more than three lessons in a marking period may result in disciplinary actions, which includes additional assignments. Regardless if you miss the live or online lesson, you are expected to complete the lesson within 12 hours of the initial meeting time. During in-class instruction, you will be using workbooks. During remote lessons, you will be asked to complete the work in the workbook. However, some activities may require you to complete a Google attachment or an Amplify page so that your instructor can collect data.